Well, I guess I just inject myself because I love it, you know, sort of a hobby. No, I do it so I don't die. <laughs> Uh, are you sure you can eat that? Yes, I'm positive I can eat that, thank you. I am a type 1 diabetic, which means I can inject insulin to cover the carbohydrate content of foods. Also, go away, you're not my mum, I don't know who you are, I'm going to eat all of this ice cream just to annoy you. Do you have the good diabetes or the bad diabetes? Sorry, there's no such thing as good diabetes. Also, no, I don't have the sort of diabetes where I have to eat sweets all the time. That is not a thing. First of all, that wouldn't be a medical condition. That sounds like a blessing. It's not a bad day at the doctor's if you walk out with a prescription for a tin of celebrations. But you're not fat. Right, you're getting mixed up. There's two types of diabetes. I have type 1, which means that my body's own immune system has destroyed the insulin producing parts. It's nothing to do with lifestyle. Type 2, which is what you're thinking of, is sometimes caused by lifestyle or age factors. Also, thank you very much for bringing it up. I've been working out, thanks. How do you inject yourself? Ooh, I couldn't do that. Well, I guess I just inject myself because I love it, you know? Sort of a hobby. It's almost a fetish that I've picked up. No, I do it so I don't die. And yes, you could do it, because otherwise you'd die. If I didn't inject insulin, my blood sugar levels would not be maintained or stabilised. I'd eat food, my blood sugar would shoot up, and I'd go into a coma. Yes, they hurt a little bit, but you could do it. Otherwise, and I'll reiterate this, you would die. Is it contagious? Okay, this one I can't even be bothered to give a serious answer. I've only been asked this twice. The first time, I was shocked, I was taken aback. Second time, I was more prepared for it. I said yes, sneezed in their face and ran away.